It's the best of times and the worst of times for the TV industry. On the one hand, TV is enjoying a golden age. Successful formats are drawing massive audiences from Game of Thrones to global sporting events like the World Cup. People are watching more TV than ever. Demand for original programming has never been higher and global TV advertising revenues are resilient. We estimate they're going to rise by around 1.5% a year for the next five years. And that's from a base of more than $160 billion. On the other hand, however, we often hear apocalyptic predictions about the future. Traditional TV is dying a slow death, the victim of disruptive innovation. So-called millennials and Generation Z are moving from cord cutters to never corders. Of course, the reality lies somewhere between these two extremes. Indeed, our research shows that changes in viewer behaviour are often less dramatic than many of the predictions would have you believe. And organisations are actually quite resilient to change. And let's remember, TV companies have a long history of working through big structural shifts. Strategy Ann recently wrote an article for Strategy and Business magazine that looked at how to transform TV organisations in this context. In the face of significant change and new challenges, many incumbent TV players are already making sensible moves, whether through consolidation, cost-cutting or exploring new partnerships. But these won't be enough to maintain their current positions, let alone help them grow profitably. At Strategy and, we believe leaders must commit to a fundamental reinvention of their organisations. This means adopting a startup mindset and answering some big questions. If you were going to set up your studio, network or production company from scratch, what would it look like? How would you delight the customers you most want to serve? And then how much of your existing business should you transition to this new entity? We've identified seven strategic steps TV executives should take to transform their organisations. Firstly, adopt a consumer first mindset. Now that might sound obvious, but many large players have prospered until now without much focus on the consumer beyond the content they produce. Refresh the leadership team. Leaders must model empowering, innovative and ethical behaviours. And it's important for them to adopt a global approach and a mindset of constant renewal. Take an honest view of the business. That can often mean addressing some difficult questions and tackling inefficiencies and frictions head on. Learn to become more agile. Move talent and resources to the places where they can create the most value. And get the right balance between rigor and speed. Build innovative, creative factories. Combine the best creative talent with data analytics in flexible working environments with distributed responsibility. Develop a strategic ecosystem. Team with other players who have complementary capabilities and relationships. And for many, this will mean opening themselves up to new ideas and new ways of working. And finally, give technologists their due. Explore the potential of technology to transform the way content is developed, distributed and monetized with far more vigor. Leaders must have the humility to start afresh and a passion to improve. They must emphasize purpose, encourage participation, destigmatize failure and express appreciation for the efforts of those around them. And above all, they must recognize that when something's simply not working, it's better to change the channel. You can get in touch, download the article, and find out more information on our website. Strategy and, strategy made real.